All right, guys, uh, this is the last part of our uh, review, and I'm going to go ahead and close out all these old documents here that I don't need anymore since we're finishing up here. And uh, we're going to open up the document called Scholarship Document. All right, so um, right here, it's called Project 7 Scholarship Document, <clears throat> scholarship.doc. And we're going to open this up and download it as always so that we can edit it so file we're gonna say save as download a copy all right and this is uh, questions 50 through 55 download sure and open this up and click enable editing at the top all right <clears throat> One of these is something that we did go over for um, our PowerPoint test, and that's alternative text, and that's something that will follow you around um, for the rest of your testing experience. You'll see that just about all over the place. So here's our table right here. For the table, it says add alternative text with the title, with the title as course textbooks and the description. This is a list of textbooks and how much they will cost. So we're going to right click in the table and uh, we're actually going to go to table properties and you're going to see alt text. All right. And we have a title and we have a description. All right. So in the title, it says course textbooks and the description uh, to read. This is a list of textbooks and how much they will cost. So just like that. And say OK. Apply the grid table 5, dark accent 2. So in the same table here, we're going to go to Table Tools Design tab, and we're going to see Table Styles. And under the Grid group, we're going to say Grid Table 5, Dark Accent 2. So Table 4. Table 5, Dark, Accent 2. Boom. Okay. Um, in the sentence that begins with, uh, this award is donated, insert a registered sign at the end of Michael's Art Shop. All right. So let's look for this award is donated. <clears throat> And then Michael's Art Shop. Hmm. So I don't see it. And if you ever get into a predicament like this, you can always just go um, home tab and say find. And let's just go ahead and like look for Michael's Art Shop. Let's just go ahead and say Michael's. art shop uh, this award is donated from Michael's art shop and see it's like right in the beginning right in the middle of a paragraph right there so that's really tricky all right it says it wants us to insert a registered symbol at the end of the word shop all right uh, so under the insert tab we're gonna go to symbols and you've seen the registered symbol before uh, it's a little R if you can't find it it's right there if you can't find it in there, you can always search for it. But it should be right there for you. Um, inspect the document and remove any personal information. And we know this one. So file tab, check for issues, inspect for everything. Uh, don't ever uncheck anything. In fact, make sure everything is checked. And then say inspect. And then just remove um, personal information, document properties and personal information. You don't have a choice to just uh, not remove the document properties with the personal, unfortunately. You have to remove everything. All right. Let's see what else we got. Two more. Uh, find the word automatic and delete it. So I don't know where that is. And again, I'm just going to go to the Home tab. I'm going to find 
the word automatic. No matches. Oh. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this and put it. All right, so I didn't re-download this, but by the time you guys see it, you should see the word automatic. It'll automatically go to it, and then just press delete on your keyboard. All right. Um, add a three-point dark blue, dark blue accent one box page border to the whole document. And this is kind of a repeat question. We probably don't need to do this, but page borders, again, are right here. And we're going to add a box page border to the whole document. We're going to go to the design tab, and we're going to say page borders. We're going to choose box on the left. The color is going to be dark blue accent one. Dark blue text two. Blue accent one. I don't see dark blue accent one. All right, well that's another fix right there. We'll just use blue accent one and three point border. Just like that. All right. All right, guys, and that's it for your test review. Um, so for the most part, uh, that is your 2019 version of your Microsoft exam. All right, I hope you guys pass your test. Good luck.